Vertical nail ridge lines that run from your cuticle to the tip of your fingernail are super common and are normally a sign of aging. The skin under the nail plate loses some structural integrity and becomes wrinkled, much like other areas of aging skin. Another common cause of ridges is dehydration of the nail plate from frequent manicures or excessive water exposure. This is also why fingernail ridges are more likely to pop up if you've got dry skin or a condition like eczema or psoriasis. Also they can happen through a nail injury or trauma or an underlying medical condition. Then there's horizontal nail ridges lines that run from side to side, known as Bose lines. These are less common, but equally annoying. When horizontal ridges occur in a single nail, it's usually due to trauma to the nail matrix. This is the area where your fingernails start to grow. Things like picking your nails, jamming the cuticle back, or getting your finger caught in the door can cause a dent in the growth, so future nail plates are produced with a ridge. Certain stresses to the body, like a high fever or some infections, can also suddenly make the nails stop growing for a short time. This brief halt in production can cause a horizontal ridge in the growing nail plate and usually pops up on most or all nails following an illness. However, don't worry, the ridges aren't permanent, and once they grow out, your nails will be back to business as usual. So what can you do to get rid of fingernail ridges? 1. Moisturize your nails regularly. Keeping your nails hydrated with a hand cream or oil can minimize the appearance of ridging and protect the keratin of the nail. Use a moisturizer that contains ceramides or alpha-hydroxy acids, which trap in moisture and nourish your nails. 2. Keep your nails neat. Keeping your nails on the shorter side can help prevent trauma to the nail during your day-to-day -day grind, just make sure to not go overboard with trimming. Constant trimming or cutting your nails may cause them to develop ridges. Clip your nails with a standard nail clipper only when there's visible white, and don't clip so low that there's no longer white present. This allows time for the nail to grow and heal between clippings. Trim your nails straight across, then round the tips in a gentle curve using a very fine nail file. Filing snags or irregularities helps to prevent future trauma. 3. Don't pick at or bite your nails. The skin, including nails, responds to outside stimuli by thickening. By not picking at your nails or the skin around them, you're decreasing the chances of causing nail irregularities. Identifying the triggers that cause you to pick at or bite your nails and learning how to manage them can help you hit the brakes on future nail damage. 4. Buff them gently. While it doesn't treat the underlying problem that's causing your fingernail ridges, gently buffing your nails can help camouflage them. A word of caution though. Be very cautious with your use of nail buffers as these thin the nail plate out, which can make them softer, flexible, and prone to trauma and breakage. A gentle buff once a month is enough. 5. Don't mess with your cuticle. You can prevent traumatic ridges by not picking or shoving your cuticle back. The cuticle is the only barrier the fingers have to keep dirt and infections out of the tissues of the fingers. Not only can an infection cause damage to the nail matrix and potentially deform your nail, but the act of pushing back the cuticle can bang it up, creating a permanent ridge template for all future nail growth. 6. Reduce water exposure. Wash your hands when it's necessary to, but try not to overdo it. Washing your hands too often strips your skin of its natural oils and emollients, resulting in dryness and even hand eczema, which can cause nail changes. The same goes for prolonged water exposure, like when washing dishes. When you do have to wash your hands, switch to a natural moisturizing hand soap, such as one that contains coconut milk and follow up with a dose of your go-to moisturizer. If your hands are constantly immersed in water, consider wearing cotton-lined rubber gloves to protect your hands and nails, and when that's not practical, moisturize regularly. 7. Maintain a healthy diet. It's rare, but ridging can sometimes be a sign of an underlying systemic condition or vitamin deficiency. Eating a well-balanced diet and drinking enough water can help ensure you're meeting the daily vitamin quota necessary to fend off nail ridges. Try to eat foods that are known to promote healthy nail growth. Think dairy products like milk, cottage cheese, and plain Greek yogurt. Foods high in biotin are veggies, eggs, and nuts. Finally, foods high in zinc are lean meats, 
fish, spinach, and mushrooms. 8. Use a prescription strength nail hardener. If you're experiencing nail breakage or splitting along with ridges, your dermatologist can prescribe a topical nail hardener. Prescription nail hardeners are best as they contain chemicals that not only work to increase the strength of the nail, but trap moisture in, preventing nail brittleness in the process. 9. Add a ridge filler to your manicure routine. Unfortunately, nail polish doesn't hide ridges, it can actually draw more attention to them. Ridge fillers, followed by nail polish, can help smooth out the look of nail ridges. Ridge fillers operate much like a base coat that settles into the nooks and crannies of your nails, giving you a smooth canvas to work with. 10. Choose polish that is easier on your nails. Go with typical nail polish for your manicures, which is less damaging to your nails than acrylic or gel. The procedure of applying the acrylic and gel nails involves physical abrasion of the surface of the nail to enhance adhesion of these cosmetics, which damages the nail. Besides being a major trigger of horizontal nail ridges, these types of manicures can also change the pH of the nail, affecting its strength. 11. Give your nails a breather. In manicuring, the nails are exposed to prolonged water exposure. When repeated over time, this can lead to overall dehydration of the nail and surrounding skin, thereby weakening or increasing brittleness of the nail. Nail polish remover further compounds the problem by dehydrating and changing the chemical properties of the nail surface. If your nails are becoming dry or brittle and you're noticing increased ridging, it's recommended to take a three to four week break from manicuring to allow the nail to grow out and regain its strength. 12. Consider taking biotin supplements. Several studies show that biotin can strengthen brittle nails, making them less likely to split or break so you may be able to grow your nails longer after taking the supplement regularly. So when should you consider seeing your doctor about fingernail ridges? In most cases, nail ridges are benign and nothing to worry about, but there are certain characteristics to keep an eye out for, especially when it comes to bows lines unrelated to trauma. If the condition is sudden in onset or causes splitting of the nail at the free edge, it would be beneficial to see your doctor. Your doctor can screen for internal causes of ridging or refer you to a dermatologist who can evaluate for skin conditions that might be causing it. Although on the rarer side of the spectrum, nail ridging can be a sign of an internal problem, such as a thyroid disorder, nutritional deficiency, iron for example, or an autoimmune disease. Changes in color or texture, such as your nail turning a dark color or a surface change that's new also warrants a visit to your doctor. More serious conditions, such as melanoma, or a heart condition called endocarditis, might be the cause of the abnormality, so it's always best to book a consultation and ease any worries you might have. I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you have, please subscribe to this YouTube channel, and don't forget to give this video the thumbs up. And I'm sure you're going to enjoy this next video on 28 Amazing Health Benefits of Zinc for Men and Women. Thanks for watching and bye for now.